there is no reason for, for a drug as simple as insulin, which costs $21 in Canada for a 10 milliliter bottle to cost the equivalent of a mortgage payment or sometimes two mortgage payments. I couldn't afford to purchase my full supply of insulin, so my sister risked her life by sharing hers. One night I, I took my nighttime dose of insulin and I left the vial on the dresser for my sister to see. I assumed that she would think that I had already taken my dose since I left the vial on the dresser, but she didn't. She thought that I still needed to take my insulin for the evening, so she took less of her normal dose to ensure that there was enough left for me to take. She put herself at risk. The next day she went into diabetic ketoacidosis, had to be hospitalized for four days, the veins in her body blew, and she had to have a pick line in her neck and almost went into a diabetic coma. I couldn't afford my insulin because Eli Lilly and others refused to control the cost of insulin. It's, it almost cost my sister her life. Price gouging is killing people. These pharmaceutical companies are committing murder and getting away with it. <laughs>